okay so here I am you know, back at the developer center on the Apple develop, Apple iOS developer center so previously we've created app IDs and distribution and development profiles so now we actually do want to create our app in um, iTunes connect so this is actually going to create a listing for your app and then we can use that to upload um, the the code to it and then use that to submit to the App Store all right so now I'm gonna click on iTunes connect on the right hand side here and I'm gonna click click on manage your apps so then I'm gonna click on add new app all right okay so what we want to do here is I'll give it a, a name so previously we gave the name the lifestyle magazine if you remember and then just give an SKU for that so I'm, I'm gonna select the same bundle ID which I created in the previous vi video, and that's the com lifestyle company lifestyle magazine. All right, and I'm gonna click on continue for that. And here you can set the dates and prices for um, the the price tier for your app. So I'm just gonna put this in the future. So I'm just gonna put that in the future, and then select and make it free for now, and then click on continue. All right, give it a version number. I'm just gonna give it a version number 1.0. Select the primary category, let's just say the lifestyle category, and then the secondary category is uh, music. Okay, and then for the rating of my app, I'm gonna say it's gonna have uh, no occurrences of these items, right? And then you can put a description. So this is the, the this is the description that will show up in the app store. Okay, I've put in a sample description, sample keywords, and then a sample support URL. And then let's scroll down, and then put in some information for the app review. Okay, so in the next step, I'm gonna have to create, um, upload um, icons for my, icon and screenshots for my file, sorry, for my app. So I'm gonna select that. Um, so I've prepared some sample um, screenshots. Okay, um, these don't have to be final screenshots. You can always edit this later when you're about to submit your app, but this is just to get you up and running. All right, so I'm gonna click on save. So that's good, so our app is um, prepared, um, and then we are almost done. So there are two more things which we need to do. So the first thing is to um, enable new stand. So if I click on the new stand status, on the site in there so okay so basically this is um, the information for my app that's the bundle ID that's the information for the app and then on the right hand side I have a new stand status button here so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click on enable so this enables new stand for your app this will enable your app to show up in the new stand folder so here it says you select a subcategory which is optional but for now I'm just gonna add that I'm gonna call that fashion and style or entertainment let's leave it as that and then select a default cover art. This is gonna be what's gonna show up in the App Store as default. And then I'm just gonna select the iPad information, sorry, the iPad image for that. Okay, I'm gonna click on save. And then we're almost done. So now, here it says to submit a new stand app, you must at least offer one auto renewable or free in-app purchase subscription so we'll do that later so but for now our app is ready to um is ready to go so now i just need to create issues and then i'll do that in the next video but then we're almost done so watch out for the next video to see how to continue with this process